Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world. This is the world of Wayne. This is very bittersweet. As you can see behind me, I have the Lamborghini Miura. Today, we're gonna to be doing the final part, box 12 of the Agora models release, finishing this Lamborghini. Now, even though this starts at stage 92 and finishes at stage 100, there's loads to do. In fact, I am going to be spreading this video over a couple of filming days and then putting it all together. So I've got no idea how long this video is going to actually be. What I do know is in stage 92, we're using parts from stage 90. So we are still playing a little bit of catch up there. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. I'm sure you agree, just in bits, it looks really good. So I can't wait to see what this looks like finished. And at the end, again, when I finish models, I'll show some beauty shots so you can see what this looks like. So here we go. Another model done. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So as I mentioned, in stage 92, we have got these number plate lights here, and we've got some glass for these lights. Now this came in stage 90. So as I mentioned at the start, we are placing, uh, or we are doing a little bit of catch up. And all we're gonna do is take these tiny pieces of glass and push them into the holes that we can see there. So that's one, just do the other side. Now the lights are shaped, so they do fit the surround like that. I'm going to be bringing over the back section here and you can see where these are going to be going on here. There is a locating lug on the back and they're just going to go in like this. So one in this side and one in this side. So the lights are facing towards the inside where the number plate is going to be sitting. Now they are going to be held in with type B screws. So I've saved every screw from this uh, build. So I'm just going to get them out. I am going to put my part work upgrade mat through here just to protect the finish there and get these screwed in just like this now in stage 90 as well we had this little boot catch lock here that's going to be going through this hole at the back it is a d-shaped hole so i'm just gonna line it up whoops and push that in it actually holds itself pretty well in there now i'm going to put that to one side and just lose this mat for a second because in stage 91, which I haven't even opened yet, there's a number plate that I'm gonna be putting together. So I'll lay out all the parts to that. And as you can see, those three sections there look like that. And all it's a case of doing is taking the number plate and pushing this into the holes here. One, two, three, so that's him. And then taking the frame to the number plate and that's just going on top. Again, pushing that into the holes. And that's the number plate created. That means I've got to take the grill now from the rest of stage 91 and some screws that are in here. Again, bring up my part word upgrades map. So you can see that just on the side there. And I'm going to be putting this in from the underside here. So this is going to go in just like this. Perfect. Now it's connected by four points that you can see, one, two, three, and one at the other side there, four. And they're all size D screws. They do come in this stage. And you know what I'm gonna say? They're going into metal. So I'll put them in oil. So when that grill's in, it's looking like that. What I've got to do now, take the number plate and put that in the holes that we've got here and here. And again, turn this upside down. And this is gonna be held in with B screws just in these two holes. There you go, that's all in place and that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 93 here, we're gonna be doing the uh, boot compartment cover and installing the rear lights. Now even though I've just took all these parts out, because we're running in arrears, put that to one side, we actually need uh, part 92 because this is where the boot compartment is. <laughs> a bit confusing. Now you can probably see on this boot cover there's a recess where this speaker's gonna go. I do have some material to put over that. Now that comes in this stage. It's a nice felt material this is. All I'm gonna do is take the uh, T-zip off the back of it and I'm gonna be putting this over the top of the grill there. Now the good thing about this is it will dampen the sound so it's not so tinny. 
Now I've got a reverse light which come in this stage. Let's get this out. And as you can see, we've got a surround and we've also got some glass. The glass has already been installed on my one. There's just one more lug to put in. It's just a case of pushing them together like that. Just above where we put this uh, material, this is where this light's gonna go. It's facing outwards. So we're just pushing the lugs into the holes. So that looks like that. Turning that over, I've now got this section to put on. If you watch carefully how I do this, you're holding it this way, it's gonna go that way on. So when these fit over the top of this section here, sort of closing that boot compartment up so it looks like that. We do need to hold these in on these two points here and they're held in with type B screws. One there, not too tight because we're going into plastic and one on the other side there. Put that to one side for a second because I need some parts from stage 92 and 91, namely the lights that I've got here, the reflectors which I've got here and then the covers or the lenses for that, which I've got there. First thing to do is put the reflectors that we've got here into the car. So these quite simply are just gonna be pushed in like this, one that side, and then one that side. To hold them in, I'm gonna put the mat down. They're screwed in from the other side with B screws. And again, nice and tight, but not too tight as to round those screws. We don't want that to happen. When they're in, that's looking like that. We want to take these electrics out now because we're going to be taking the single light that we've got on this end and pushing that into the holes behind those reflectors. Get them all the way in and one on this side. Now, if the lights are loose in there, which this one is for me, you can glue these in. So that's what I'm going to do. Now those bulbs are in, all I'm going to be doing is taking the lenses here and pushing those into place. They basically just go over the top and push in. Like that. And that's that stage complete. If I just turn this over and show you what that looks like, <laughs> pretty impressive. Now in stage 94, we've got the parts for the window grill and boot compartment, but I don't think we're using that. So I'm not actually gonna open it this time because we're still working on the parts from the previous stage, as you can see here. So we're gonna bring over what we were working on as in the boot compartment. You know, as you can see in this bag here, I've got a speaker. Let's get that out. The speaker's gonna go into that grill there facing this way around so the wires are on top. Just gonna push that into place. So it sits nice and central there. Now the wire for this is going to be coming out the side of this here. There's a hole in the side. So again, hold that in position and push that out like that. And then I've got the clamp to put into place, just lining this up so that this open section is going over the wire contacts, just like that there. It's going to be held in with type B screws. That looks excellent. All we're going to do then is take the boot compartment cover. This came in stage 93, and I'm going to be putting that just over the lugs. You can probably see on the top camera there. As you can see, these are just going to go over the top. That's basically hitting that speaker now, so it's encased in there. I'm going to turn this over, and as you can see, we do have now these two holes just into this section here. One, two. I'm going to be taking this hinge and it's got two lugs at the bottom which are gonna go into those holes. Now when we put this in, there is a way it goes so that it actually inclines and bends towards this reverse light here, just like that. Now this does need to sit flush, so you might need a little bit of elbow grease to get that all the way in there, like that. Time to bring my mat back up again, because I'm gonna be taking what we've been working on on this rear section here, turning that over, and I'm gonna be putting this boot compartment into place. So I am gonna just have these wires coming out the side like that. And then these points here and here are gonna go against the holes that we've got next to where we put the bulbs in. Hopefully you can see just here and one on this side. So get this lined up and in. I haven't screwed that now, but as it happens, we do need now a part from this stage, which is stage 94. And once again, I'm going to be putting this just behind this box here. 
get that in. So it's over these lugs on either side here and here. It's going underneath the boot compartment. Now these are held in with type B screws. They haven't asked me to put this boot compartment in with screws. So one in that side and one in the other side here. So that's in place. I am a little bit confused about why we haven't had to attach that. It, it, got some spring now in there. I'm wondering, just having a look at this, if I was meant to put B screws in there. Hmm. I'm just going to read ahead in the instructions. I can't see any reason why we wouldn't put a screw in there. So you know what? I'm going to do that now and just see if a B screw will fit in there. Well, I've done it. Whether I should have done it, who knows? But uh, I'll put a B screw in there. <laughs> That's now in place. It's solidly in place. Now it might be wrong, but I would like a stable boot in there. So that's what I've done. What I'm going to do now is turn this over. These uh, wires are <laughs> getting all over the place at the moment. I will have to tidy them up. But we turn that round just like this. Because I'm about to put the vent in place. This is what the vent looks like. This does remind me of the uh, DeLorean vents back in the day. Uh, but we've got some tabs on the side here. We're just going to line that up. And I'm going to be pushing that in. Make sure you put it the right way around, of course. Silly me. <laughs> there you go. Just push that down. So that looks just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now we have actually caught up now. So I've got the wheel arches in stage 95. And I am going to take some advice from their pictures and I am going to tidy these wires up. So I think what I'm going to do is batch them together. And I'm going to sort of loop them around each other. Because I don't want to catch them. You know I'm going to catch them. And then I'll use some masking tape. Just to keep them into place. This is probably one of those best practice things I guess. Okay then I want to take these... Um, arches here i don't think they are labeled what's left and right but you can kind of know because you've got a tab coming out the side there the tag that's coming out the side should be pointing towards the rear of the car so these are going to go on kind of like that now underneath the tops of these you can probably see there's some slots here there's one this side as well we're going to make sure we line those up line that up That's sitting in there exactly as we want it. So type B screws. The first one is just going to go into this point just there. The second one is the hole behind it over here. And then we just need a type S screw, which I've got here, which is going to hold this point just at the back here. And there you go. That's one wheel arch in place. Do the same on the other side. Again, this tab here lines up underneath. Plug that in. That will sort of guide you where the rest of this goes. Once you've got it in, side B screws again, screw this down. One at the back here. And then a size S screw just at the back here. There you go. That's both the wheel arches in place. Okay. This is where it's going to get fun. I'm going to bring the car over. Now at the moment, just so you know, the uh, front of this car is not on. I actually just put it there to store. So this is what your car should be looking like at the moment. I'm going to show you on the side camera here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be resting this whole back section to where it goes on here. Now I've got no wiring to worry about here. But I do want to make sure that that fits flush on there like that. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to be putting some masking tape on to keep this into place. I'm then going to turn the car upside down. Now I'm looking at the back. We don't want to trap any of those wires in there, I'm guessing. So I think I am just going to take this masking tape that I put off on here now. ensure all of these wires are now inside the boot area or just behind the boot area 
of the car. Now you can see on these points just here and here, we've got some hinges. They're going to go into the holes that we've got at the bottom. They're held in with a type B screw. So I'm going to get a B screw ready. Because I'm going to need two hands for this. And get that screwed into position. Now I'm going to get that in nice and tight. So theoretically, when I turn this back over now, I've got to take off all this masking tape I've put on. Should be able to open this bonnet up like that. That's excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. What I am going to need is stage 96, which is the final wheel. That I've got here also comes with four hubs in here that's good and the first thing I'm going to do just like last time is push the whim in here I'm not going to need any uh, hot water for this the tires are quite soft you see so let's get this in and just mold this around so it's sitting in the tire the correct way do one side and when I'm happy with that side just do the other side actually that's just popped itself in <laughs> so that's the tire done now, as you see here, I've got these very long screws here, which have already got flanged ends. We're now going to be putting all the wheels on the car. Now, if you have a look inside these wheels, we do have a little indent on each side. We need to match that indent with the indent that's on the side of the car. Let's bring that back up. And you can see that indent just on this brake disc here. So I'm going to line that up and make sure it fits flat on that tyre. I like that. You probably heard that lock in then. So I'm going to take one of the flange screws and screw this as tight as I can possibly get it. So as you can see, that wheel's on. I'm going to do the same with all four wheels. A few moments later. And there we go. That's all four tyres on the car. I'm actually going to save the hubs till the end and put them on the end because I don't want to lose them. But if I keep it on its side here, just remove this masking tape that I put on the door just to keep that closed. I will keep that on there. You can see I've got a group of holes here. We've got some uh, detailing to go on there. So we've got one that says for Tony. That's going to go into the lugs at the bottom. I'm just going to see if that holds. That is quite a good hold actually. And the other one is actually on a sprue here. Which looks like that. So I need to get this off the sprue. And push that into the other two holes so that looks like that just going to check the lift action make sure that's still working perfect i'm happy with that excellent <laughs> and that is all there is to do in that stage now in stage 97 we're going to be attaching the battery compartment and shield emblem so if i just bring over the front of the car looks like we're working on the front of the car obviously we do need to put a shield emblem just in here. So hopefully you've kept this safe. It's in here. This came from stage four. So just getting that out. And it's just got two lugs on the back, which we're going to push into these holes. It's a very tight fit. So I don't need glue, but there you go. That looks like that. Okay, put that to one side. And as you can see here, stage 97 is a big area of the floor pan but we've also got the battery box and stuff in here as well so as you can see here's the battery box I'm making sure all the connections are okay they all look good okay that's perfect i'm going to be putting the battery box onto this board just here the board the floor should i say just like that that's going to be held in with type b screws then i've got a switch to put in the switch goes with the wires closest to the battery box. So the port that doesn't have a wire is going to be furthest away. Let's put that in here. That's going to be held in with type O screws. So that's the switch in place. Just make sure that I can access the switch on, off, no problems at all. Now we do have the cover for the battery box, which is just going in here. So the way to do this, just put the screw through the hole there. On the other side, we've got a little plastic washer. Whoops. 
which I'm dropping, which goes on here. And then we can secure this into the battery area. Now we do have some screws in this stage. We've got a little extension cable in here and I've got a K screw as well. We don't use those in this stage because that's all there is to do in this stage. So in stage 98 here, we've got some skirts and we've got the rear uh, sort of mufflers on the exhaust. I'm gonna get them out. I'm gonna keep the skirts in here for now because we don't need them straight away. I am gonna bring up my mat though because I'm gonna to need to turn this car upside down. Now these exhaust mufflers just push into the two holes that we've got here. So one here, one here, they are directional. And that's the second one in just like that. What I'm gonna do then is I wanna trace all the wires that I've tidied here to plug them into the uh, circuit board here. Now what they want us to do is follow this exhaust line all the way throughout. So I'm gonna be passing all the wires underneath the exhaust line here through the center. So it's coming through this trunk here into the circuit board. There you go. That's those three wires coming out there. I thought that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, I need to find plug seven and gently pull that out because I've got an extension lead to put in here. Plug the extension into where plug seven was and then just plug that back in. So there's a little bit more slack on it. Don't know why we had to do that. It might be the way it's been rooted round. No idea. Okay, so to plug these into the circuit board, the plug that's got the black uh, plug on it's gonna be going into port 11. So I'm just gonna pass that through. Tweezers will be your friend here. There we go, that's in port 11. Now the plug with the brown square is the speaker cable. That's gonna go into port four. Can bring that through. That's the speaker in. And the last black one here is going into port 12. It's gonna take the wires out or the slack out of this area so the slack is more in this area here. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in part 99, I'm gonna be preparing the windshield. So uh, I'm not actually using these skirts from the last stage, I thought we might be, but I am gonna have to put a soft cloth down here because there is quite a lot of work that I need to just do on this section. Now in stage 99, they do want me to put the hubcaps on the wheels. I'm not gonna do that until the final thing because I will lose them, trust me. But this is the frame for the windshield. And we've got the glass here as well, which is quite flexible as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the frame of the uh, window this way round. And I've got lots and lots of sticky pads here, which I'm gonna need to put all the way around the edge. Now they are numbered in the instructions. So that's row one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're just going down all the way uh, like that. So that means I'm just gonna take these off and start following the picture that you can see uh, that I've put up on the screen and get these all the way around. So that took a good 15 minutes, but now they're all on. I've actually got to take all of this adhesive off the backs, ready to put the window in. So using my tweezers, just gonna pry up one side and peel them all off. Okay, that's all off. All I'm gonna do now is take the blue adhesive sheet that's on one side of this Perspex. Not the easiest thing to get off. Try and not to touch it. Because then I'm gonna be putting this into place on the window, starting at one side. And then guiding that round. There we go. That's that window all completed. Now I do have a badge to put inside this window again. So to do that, I do need to take off the other acrylic on this side. 
this is just the protection sheet here there you go looking good I've got fingerprints on it already though I will get those off though then we've got this little sticker to put on just going to go into the top left here double checking that with a nice glasses cleaner there put this on here and that is all there is to do in that stage which means we're now on the final stage okay we're going to be putting the front of the car on now so let's bring this over best on the side camera i need to make sure that the mounts here the brackets that you can see here are pointing forward out like that i also want to feed these wires out the front as well like that because i'm going to be putting this into place kind of where it's going to go i will put some masking tape in now just to hold that into place i'm then going to turn the car over and you remember those hinges that we just put forward we can now push them back into the positions that they're going to go Okay, we're going to be attaching these two brackets here and here with V screws. So I'm just holding that one in that side. I'm going to do the same on the other side and then get these as tight as I possibly can. Now the last two cables that we've got coming from the front, I'm going to put under the suspension so that I can get them into the bay here and they're just going to go into ports 9 and 10. What they actually did was... Uh, pass it underneath this uh is this an exhaust here so i'm going to do that i then want to take the battery box here and this has got a plug on it that plug there is going to go into the last plug on here which is port five i can probably get this in with my hands this one then i'm going to gently turn this upside down make sure i'm not pinching any wires here the way this goes these go underneath the things at the back the front's going to be sitting on there. Can operate the switch, no problem. We're all good. We're going to be holding this in with K screws. These are going to go just into this back section here. Just line that up again. Perfect. Then on these middle sections here, We're going to have B screws, and on these two at the front, they're A screws. Now while this is upside down, I may as well put the uh, batteries in. Make sure that's off. And secure that back in. So let's turn this back over. Could take off this masking tape now. Now I'm going to put on these skirts. These are just going to go over this section here inside the door, and they're going to like push in lugs. So I'm just going to push this into place. That's one on. Do the other side. It's going to open the front hood because I need to put a uh, chassis or engine number in here. And that little sticker is just going to go on the inside just here. Perfect. It's going to move the car over. And I've just got the license plate to put in, which just says mirror. So I need to make sure the tabs are at the top. And just push this into this side here like that so looks like that there this is going to go on the front of the car there is two little tabs underneath and you can probably see that that's that in place there 
I'm going to take the right hand side of the car and on this frame here I've got a logo to put on. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the logo on first and show you what that looks like. To put these into place we've got a little template that we can take out. Just tilt the car for a second, put this on this A-frame and then I'm going to put the sticker into place. Now inside the door I've got these tiny shims to put on so I'm going to do that now. It's hard to show you so what I'm going to do is show you the picture of putting these on. Now in the smaller holes I've got here I'm going to be putting these washer nozzles. So they're on. Now I get to put the windscreen on. This has got lugs all around it so we've just got to push them into place. Perfect. That's that on. And then the windscreen wipers, the front one can go on here. And the left one just on the other side. There is a couple of details that can go on the back that say mirror. I like the actual open look, so I'm going to keep mine like that. I will show you a picture of what they look like though. Which means finally all I've got to do is just put the hubs on the wheels and that is the mirror completed so uh, I think it's now time to give you some beauty shots just give you a demo of the uh, some of the sounds and stuff that come out of it as well So another build completed. I really do hope you like this series. I'm just grateful that uh, everything seems to be working on it, which is uh, quite good. A lovely model. I have to say I did like it from the off offset, to be honest with you, because I love yellow. If I could have a car in yellow, I'd be a happy man. But once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this lovely car all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.